today I'm going to be doing my August favorites. Now I don't have a lot and I know I've been saying that for the past like three months but I really do not have a lot. I haven't gone shopping I don't think at all this August um so I mean this month so I don't really have a lot but I do have some stuff that I want to share with you guys that I've picked up here and there that have been either making my life easier or I'm just absolutely in love with. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I have absolutely been loving is this makeup bag and this is from Forever 21. I know makeup bag, what? I've been loving it because it is so big. Like it's small but it packs a punch. Like it ha you can put so much stuff in here and I honestly love putting this in my purse because it just fits and I can throw in so many different things in here like just random things if I want and it's kind of like a purse organizer. So I've been loving this and I take it everywhere with me. Currently it's empty because I was going through it and trying to find stuff. I don't know. But yeah, so I've been loving this. It's from Forever 21 and I believe it was like five bucks. I could be wrong, but it was around five dollars. So the next thing that I've been loving is the NYX Tinted Moisturizer. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this in a favorites before, but if I did, it was probably a few months ago back when I was at my old house. So I'm not really sure if I actually mentioned this, but I picked up a different color and this is in um, TM or Tinted Moisturizer 02 in the color Nude. I was using 03 before, but it became a little bit too orange for me. Um, I didn't get any color this summer except for like when I went to Vegas, but I didn't really get any either. But um, this has been matching me perfectly and I wear it every single day. So I picked up two of these when I went to my local Ulta and I picked up the last two because I was like, why not just pick up two of them? I actually prefer to use this tinted moisturizer over any foundation. Like today I used my NARS Sheer Matte Foundation and I just, uh-uh. So um, yeah, I've been absolutely loving this. I wear it so much. Like I wear the crap out of this and honestly I kind of waste a lot of it because I put too much but you know. It's super lightweight, it doesn't look cakey, and it still lets your naturalness show through while still providing some coverage. So, um, yeah, I've been loving this. So I have a few mascaras that I've been loving, which is really weird because you will never see me mention mascara in a favorites video because I just don't wear mascara, like, at all. But I do have a couple favorites. So my first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, and this it's actually in the color black brown. I actually grabbed it and I thought it was just black, but it's in the color black brown, but I have definitely been using it. So I really like the formula of this um, mascara. I don't like how clumpy it comes out and stuff, but I do like the way it goes on and the way it looks. I definitely wouldn't pick up um, the black brown again ever because I'm more of just a black mascara, but I've been using it for my bottom lashes and I think it looks really nice. I didn't use it today, but I usually use it. And my next one is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Now this is just a little sample size that I got in my Ipsy bag, but I've been loving the crap out of this. It is so good. Like I never thought that Urban Decay's mascara were that great. Like I've had them and I've used them, but I just never thought they were amazing. But this one is fan-freaking-tastic. So good. I love, love, love the brush. I, I don't know. Like I guess they're kind of like the same, but when I use this one versus the L'Oreal one, that one has a lot of product that comes out, whereas this one doesn't. I don't know if maybe it's because I'm using a smaller version or not, but I'm definitely going to pick this up once this runs out. I'm definitely going to pick up the bigger size of this because I love using this for my bottom lashes and my top lashes too, but mostly my bottom lashes. And the reason why I'm sitting at an angle is because there's a mirror right there and I don't want you to see like everything that's going on, so yeah. Okay, now I don't know if you consider these mascaras or what, but I have actually really been loving the Unique Mood Struck Natural Fibers. So the Unique um, Mascara Fiber and Transplanting Gel, I have been really loving these lately. So I wear these on like school days when I really want to get ready, but I don't want to put lashes on because they'll probably bug me all day. But um, I use this on top of my Perversion Mascara and it is I did do a review on this mascara. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have it linked down below. And then I also have my review for the NYX Tinted Moisturizer down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Okay, the next thing that I've been loving is a lip product. And this is the Pure Smile Choosy 
Lip Scrub Chamomile Milk. So I got this from my mini box that I was sent. And I opened this because I really needed a lip scrub. I do have the Lush one, but I wanted to try this. And one thing that's really unique about this is it risen, it risen, it risen. It isn't really a scrub more as like a balm, but it makes your lips feel amazing. And I used it in my tutorial that I did on this look, which you guys will see later this week, probably on Wednesday. I used this and it takes off all of the dead skin cells without like being over exfoliated. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but I have been absolutely loving this. So... Thank you, Choosy. So the next thing that I've been loving is something totally random. Actually, the next two things are pretty random. But this is the Remington Wet Dry Razor, electric razor. So you can use it wet or dry. And this pops off. It's just like a safety guard so you don't chop your fingers off or your, I don't know. So it vibrates like this. And I love this thing. I was looking for something that like for days when I don't really want to get in the shower and completely shave all of my hair off because my hair grows extremely fast. So I decided to pick this up and it works amazing. So if you have some stubble and you want to just get rid of it before you have to go somewhere, if you want to throw on shorts or something, I definitely use this. It's really good. So this next thing is actually a really random product as well. And only reason why I got this is because I needed one. So I bought a blow dryer <laughs> and I was, um, I forgot to bring mine from home when I came back from Vegas and I didn't have a blow dryer and I needed to dry my hair. So I usually don't use blow dryers just because it's, I like when my hair dries naturally, my hair feels a lot more healthier, but I decided to pick one up. So I picked this one up and this is the Revlon style blow dryer. Now, the unique thing about this, you guys are probably like, why is she showing us a blow dryer? The reason why I love this so much is because it was only $10. So, I was looking at all these blow dryers and I was like, oh my god, 40 bucks for a blow dryer? Like, I barely want to spend that on a straightener. And I seen one, it was like at the bottom and I was like, red one's a pretty good like hair tool thing. So, I was like, Hey, why not? If it doesn't work, it's only 10 bucks. Oh, it's so good. Like, if, like, okay, I don't even know how to explain it. So, if you have a good blow dryer at home, this is probably like 10 times better. Just kidding. But it's amazing, and I really, really love it. It works so well. There's a high heat and a low heat, so there's only two settings. And then it has, like, a cool blaster thing right here, so in case you want some cool air without, you know, switching the thing. I'm actually obsessed with this. Um, I don't use it every day because I don't like to dry out my hair. But when I need it dry, like say we're going somewhere and I just took a shower or something, I definitely use this and I really love it. It blow dries my hair really good, which is saying something because my hair is super, super thick and it usually takes a really long time to blow dry my hair. But this does the job. It's super powerful and it's only $10 at Walmart. I'm not sure if you can find it anywhere else, but $10. That's a deal. My next item is a purse. And if you guys watch my outfit of the day, you guys will know what purse that is. This is the purse from Bag Inc. And this is called the Christie bag. Now, I have been super obsessed with this bag. It goes with literally pretty much anything. This is actually not the original bag that they were supposed to send me because I did a review on it. But I'm still obsessed with it. It's nice and roomy yet not too big so I don't have to like overstuff it but yeah so this is the bag it comes with two little handles and a crossbody strap so I've been loving this bag I will link my outfit of the day video down below so you guys can check it out and I will also link the bagging website so you guys can check out the bags for yourself um, I'm gonna link the outfit of the day video down below so you guys can watch my mini review on this bag so the last thing that I want to mention to you guys that has been my absolute favorite is my Mimi boxes that I have been receiving for the past couple of months. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys will see that I have done a few reviews and stuff on it. And I'm still coming with tutorials for both of those boxes, by the way. I have been loving, loving, loving Mimi box. I've been loving all of the Mimi boxes that they have been sending me. They are so incredible like all of the products that I get I absolutely love and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting tutorials on it which I am coming out with soon so stay tuned for those 
and I've just been loving them. So if you guys have not checked out Mimi Box yet, definitely go to their website and check it out. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. So this has definitely been a favorite of mine. They are so generous and they just keep sending them to me and I'm like, you guys, you don't need to do that. All right, you guys, so that is it for my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't have a lot of things to show you guys this month because I haven't really had money to spend on anything. Um, hopefully, next month, I will have some new stuff to show you guys and some new favorites. I decided I would just show you guys the stuff that I've kind of been loving. I've been trying to go back and use all products that I already opened and everything before I start using newer products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably kind of boring, but I love doing monthly favorites and sharing them with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you like this video or if you like monthly favorites. And let me know also what your favorite products were for the month of August. Don't forget to follow all of my links down below in the bottom bar. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where you guys can keep up with me and find out what's going on on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.